Okay. Now we got the nice quiet burrow day music. All right. Welcome everybody to Corvus Twigs Bird of the Day. Today we got a very good bird. And yes, Budge Eater, you came back at just the right time. Just the right time. So today we've got a good bird. Very good bird. We got a very, very smart bird. Is it Corvid smart? Yeah, it's not quite Corvid smart, but pretty smart. Uh, why do they consider to be one of the smartest birds on the planet today? We have got the African Grey Parrot. Yeah, I like the African Greys. They're pretty good parrots. Pretty good. Look at them. Wonder why they're called African Grey Parrots. I wonder if it might be because they're from the rainforest of Africa and and their feathers are grey. I mean, it's pretty much the most plainly obviously named uh, bird in the world. It's an African parrot, it's a grey parrot, and it's a parrot parrot. It's an African grey parrot. And uh, so these little fellas, uh, as far as parrots go, they're actually kind of on this, well, I mean, smaller end. Uh, so they're not, they're not as small as your budgies or your, or your cockatiels or those little parrot guys. But, uh, you know, they're going to be a lot smaller than like a macaw. And it's about 13 inches long. And the thing is, they look at their tail feathers. Their tail feathers are actually kind of short. Kind of short tail feathers. But they got 18, 20 inch wingspan. So it's a it, it, decent wingspan. You yeah. know, so they're, they're a bit bigger than a crow. Yeah, about the same size as a crow. Yeah, very close to crow. Yeah, these fellas, they're very close to crow size. I don't like it. But where they beat out crows quite significantly is their lifespan. In the wild, they're going to live about, on average, 23 years. Uh, that's 23 years is is the average. You know, it's like their life expectancy. Yeah. So life expectancy is, you know... So some wild, some wild ones will live, uh, you know, they'll live... 40, 50 years. But, you know, it's a dangerous world out there. But 80 years, yeah. Their natural lifespan, up to 80 years. They are, they can be some very old birds. Uh, very old. And as you see down there, the pistachio forms, that's your, that's your parrot order. And parrots, parrots are all in that order. Sounds like pistachio forms. Mmm, pistachios. Um, but yeah, the uh, African Grey. They're one of these things, it's like, if, uh, if you want to adopt an African Grey as your pet, you, uh... Yeah, you better, you better be ready for a lifetime commitment with these fellas. You better be ready for a lifetime commitment. So these little fellas, you're pretty much mostly vegetarian. They'll eat an occasional bug here or there. Um, but they, uh, mostly are fruits and nuts and seeds. They, uh, they, they eat a mostly vegetarian diet. You know, they only eat bugs in extreme circumstances, and in the, uh, in those, uh, rainforests of Africa, there is plenty to go around. Quite abundant in those jungles. Lots, lots of good fruits and stuff to eat. Uh, the thing is, is, though, is that since they live in the deep jungle, not a whole lot is really known about them in terms of how they live in the wild. From what they've been able to study, they are monogamous, and they have found that the same breeding pairs will, do seem to you know, mate with each other year after year, so it seems like they do mate for life. Yes, that's, that's cool. Uh, and then they also found that uh, it's rare to see just a, a single one or a pair out in the wild. They, they usually have in flocks of about, uh, you know, about a dozen to 30. So they're communal. And, uh, you know, I found that that's actually pretty common with intelligent bird species. The smart ones, they stick together. You know, it's, uh, the parrots do it, the crows do it. It's, it's cool. I gotta say, the African Grey Parrot may be uh, better than any Corvid, is your ability to mimic speech. These guys, I mean, it's, they're, they're famous for it. They are famous for mimicking human speech in you know, over a thousand words. A thousand words! That's crazy. And they're, they're very good at mimicking, mimicking human speech, but also, you know, all sorts of kind of sounds. These guys, yeah, they're, they're pretty good at it. He, they they like to replicate lots of sounds they hear. Like if uh, they're in an area that has lots of sirens, they'll mimic the sirens. Uh, sound effects that they may hear on TV. All sorts of crazy stuff. And so now I got to tell you my favorite story of something that happened recently. So there was a, a zoo that had a whole bunch of African gray parrots. 
And somebody taught one of these African gay parrots some naughty words. And this African gray parrot found that it delighted the humans when it heard it say these naughty words. And since they're very social and like to see the humans delighted, this one decided to do it a lot. But of course, the other African gay parrots over nearby, they started to pick up on that language too. And what the zoo ended up doing is they ended up separating all the gray parrots because they would swear more around each other and they didn't want all the African greys swearing at each other and offending people. I mean, come on, the humans love it. It's great. The parrots swear. It's funny. That's, that's freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, the zoo had a little issue with swearing parrots. Now, as I said, this is, uh, as far as bird species go, you know, very popular to have as a pet. They're a little more lower maintenance than a macaw, but uh, I would say probably a little bit easier than a cockatoo, um, but definitely harder than a cockatiel or a budgie. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, as a pet, they're... What would be the worst thing for a parrot to say? Probably make America great again would be uh, would be my guess. And it's pretty bad. Or, you know. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so the thing is with these as pets is that uh, there's actually kind of a big problem of, as people adopting these ones as pets. And, uh, well, their intelligence puts them at about the level of a five-year-old. So now, imagine you have a five-year-old. And this five-year-old is very easily bored and has ADD. This five-year-old also has a permanent pair of bolt cutters on their face. Now imagine this five-year-old stays a five-year-old for 80 years. <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, that's what having an African gray is like. This is not a bird. You can just have one of them, leave it in a cage, and hope for the best. They, they need a lot of stimulation. They need... They need to be able to solve puzzles, and they need socialization. Now, they can get that socialization from humans, but they're flock birds. They do best when they're around others of their own kind. So, though they can live long times, and uh, they can live a long time in captivity, uh, they tend to get very destructive if they get bored. So, African greys have been known to tear apart houses because they're bored. They're looking for things to interact with. Hey, sorry, my throat's a little dry. But yeah, so I mean, if you if you want to adopt an African gray, it's actually going to be easier on you if you adopt multiples of them, and they're going to be happier. Yeah, hydrate. I, I mean, I'll hydrate after the birthday. Thanks. Um, but yeah, they need socialization. They need friends. They they need puzzles to solve. Uh, so you know, a good idea for like African grays is like you know, they give them a lot of toys. Toys that can be interacted with and have moving parts and do all sorts of neat things and expect those toys to be destroyed. That's what they need. These are very, very smart birds. Um, you know, there's actually great debate in ornithology that uh, is, is the crow smarter or is the African gray smarter? People need friends too. Everybody needs friends. Most, most animals are pretty social. Humans are social too. Hey, you got a friend? Maybe you haven't talked to that friend in a while. Give him a call. We'll send him a message. I bet they'll be glad that you reached out. You know, just you know, a little phone call. Just, uh, it's good to talk with people. Good to be social. And I hope that you're all doing well. And I hope all my African Grey friends are doing well. Unfortunately, the African Grey in the wild is endangered. Because, well... They live in those African rainforests, and uh, rainforests, unfortunately, are being deforested. And, you know, they're clear-cut. It's very fertile ground, so a lot of it's being cut for development and farmland, and these guys may lose uh, their home, so they need to be protected. Now, they're not in threat of being extinct, I don't think, because they're so popular, but, you know, 
I believe that they should be existing in the wild well, and it doesn't matter if they're still alive, you know, in captivity. That's that's functionally extinct, you know, think about it. But So, I hope the African Grey's habitat goes, because, well, my thoughts, I'm a big fan of the African Grey. You know? Maybe I could consider these guys rivals, but, you know, I respect their intelligence. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, they're up there. What parrot is close to extinction? Uh, that would be the Kakapo. The Kakapo is by far the most threatened of all parrot species. Their, uh, their numbers are not doing good. Luckily, the New Zealand officials are doing everything they can to help save and protect those guys. But the Kakapo is, is by far the most threatened of parrots. I think the Grey Parrot's going to do just fine. Um, they're intelligent and hopefully adaptable that even with some habitat loss, they'll be all right, but, uh, they are endangered. So hopefully, uh, hopefully those in the countries that, uh, they have them are going to work on some conservation and keep these guys around for a long time because they're great birds, great birds deserving of our respect and deserving of our love. African gray parrot, I'm going to give you the rare title of honorary corvid. Because you're so smart, you're so social, you're just a real kick-ass bird. You know? I love them. I love the African Grey. They're, they're great. And someday maybe we can have a brains off. I bet there's an African Grey VTuber out there. There's gotta be. There's gotta be! Anyway, African Grey, great bird. Check them out.